Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the Brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, I got a quick response that I wanted to do to uh, this guy, Bishop Nate Nathaniel. All right, the head of IURC, also known as uh, Israel United in Christ. All right, now he called us, you know, before in the past, he called us the uh, Bummerites. And now, you know, he calls us here at Great Millstone, the uh, BBHI, the Bum Black Hebrew Israelites. All right, so I just want to touch on the word bum, right? Now, bum, you know, is someone that's poor, you know, and uh, what would be the mind frame of someone calling you a bum? All right, now, growing up, we all know that when you was a child and you could, you know, in school, you know, and you, you know, probably arguing with a woman or your boy or whatever, but mainly women. You know, what's the mentality of someone calling you a bum? Mainly it will be a woman calling you a bum. You know, she'll call you a bum ass nigga. She start getting all, you ain't got the shoe, you ain't got these, you ain't got that. Your, your, your shirt fake and all this and that. That's, a, that's of a woman's nature. All right, let me uh, move from here. That's a, a woman's nature, all right, to call you a bum, right? And, um, you know, that's a feminine uh, type type of mindset from a man, you know, because men, you know, don't look at each other in that type of fashion to clown each other unless the man has some sort of uh, wealth. He has some sort of riches. All right. You know, now for a man to call you a bum, it would be that maybe because he he's able to have the finest things in life and he's looking at you like you can't because, you know, you don't have the money. All right. You don't know what he know. You're not a, you know, you don't have to hustle. All right. So he's looking down upon you. All right. So this bum thing that he's calling us is really carnal. And the scriptures speak against you, Bishop Nate. All right. And he's who is and who is he calling a bum? He's calling the GMS because why? There's a spiritual grab on the Lord's elect and the Lord's elect is waking up and they're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And they are attached to the Lord's true name, all right, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They are attached to that, all right. Now, the new thing is he's calling us is black. Now, when we hear uh, certain individuals, agents who calls us black Hebrew Israelites, we know that those are what agent terms to demonize us. That's the media, mainstream media term to demonize us Hebrew Israelites by calling us the black Hebrew Israelites. When clearly, you know, even Vocab Malone, he studies the Hebrew Israelites and he knows what we teach is not black. We teach that we're the lost 12 tribes of Israel. OK, because you have Hispanics, you have Cubans, you have native and Seminole Indians. All right. That are Hebrew Israelites. So so this gospel of Yahweh Bashem Shah has nothing to do with the word black. OK. So as soon as you hear anyone calling you black, they associate they're associating themselves with the deep with the Satan, man, by demonizing the men of the Lord. All right. We're not be it. What's that black identity extremists? We're none of that. All right. We're not extreme. We're not terrorists. All right. We're not the uh, you know, we're not a militia group. We're not a group that would take up arms and go kill Edomites. That's not us. We're preachers. We're prophets, we're teachers, man. That's it. That's it. Messengers. So he called us the BBHI, Bum Black Hebrew Israelites. Right? So, with that being said, you know, here's a video uh, with the elder brother Yashawamba. He did a beautiful lesson and cutting this guy, you know, breaking down Revelations 3 and 12 and having a proper understanding. You know, I believe this Revelation 3 and 12 and uh, that the scripture that uh, Bishop Nate is using is a parachute. It's nothing more than a parachute. When you skydive and jump out of the plane and you go head first, you need a parachute to save yourself or you're going to die. All right. And because of this spiritual grab that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is doing. All right. Upon the elect, 
to shift them unto him, you got guys like this that is trying to strip that away from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And they want all them to seek unto him. You know, he wants to be Yahweh Shai. All right. So Elder Yasha Wamba, go check it out, this lesson here. Um, and uh, watch this because it's uh, very edifying. All right. Um, matter of fact, before I play the video, let me get a quick precept here that I queued up. You know, now this is Exodus 3 and 15. It says, And Yahweh said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord Yahweh, of the Lord Yahweh, power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob, have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. All right, so the name of the Lord, you can say is law. Because when the Lord gave Moses his name, I am that I am, which is he is or he to be, Yahweh, he told Moses to tell this to the Israelites that this is his name forever. And how do we know that's his name? Yes, first is off faith, okay? And it's because you go into our Hebrew tongue, which is the Hebrew language, okay? So he said, this is my name forever and this is my memorial unto all generations. Memorial means remembrance, all right? Remembrance, man. To remember. So in order, one part of waking up to this truth, because we all fell into being Gentiles, but now that the men of the Lord and those that are awoken today, they are no longer Gentiles in the frame of mind, all right? They of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if they pray unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, with sincerity and truth. But we're not Gentiles anymore, and we're woken back up through what? His word, starting with his name. And that's why you see the brother out there in the Philippines going in, okay, pushing Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right? It's not as written in uh, Matthew 24 that this gospel shall go out through the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come. Well, guess what? A part of this gospel is the Lord's name. What did Yahweh Shai come in? He came in the name of his father. He came in the same ordinance structure as his father. And he did what the father told him to do. Spread the gospel. OK. And he did it. That's John. Uh, St. John 17. OK. It says, and this is my memorial unto all generations. So for all us. All right. Coming back in the flesh which is reincarnation, we will have this remembrance of the Lord by his name, man. Not only that, but, you know, through the, the, the doctrine, the precepts, everything, man. All right, so with that being said, let's play this video here. Salakia. Particular energy you should be in. Putting on the elect. Okay. Revelation 3.12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. Are you in the temple of the Lord now? No. Okay, let's read it again. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar. Are we not the temple of the Lord? Exactly. As the scriptures say, we, ye are the temple of the Most High. All right. Matter of fact, the third temple was being built now, which is starting with the Lord's uh, elect. Okay. So he cut himself once again. But let's keep going. And we're going to get understanding on that scripture. For those uh, brothers and sisters who may not know how to break it down. The pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out, meaning you won't go out into captivity. Are you in captivity today? Yes. Ye pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out, meaning you won't go out into captivity. Are you in captivity today? Yes, he is. Uh, he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God. Hmm. So, once you're within the kingdom, in the temple of the Lord, it says... And I will write upon him the name of my God. But the BBHI, the black, bum, bum black, 
Hebrew Israelites said they already got the name, so they don't need the Lord to do that for them. You see? So now we're the BBHI, the Bum Black Hebrew Israelites. And yeah, we do have the name. Because the, even the elder brother here, Yashawamba, goes into it, you know, how when you look up the word new, it means kinos, means the refresh. All right. And we already read Revela uh, Exodus 3 and 15. All right. It says, uh, this is my name forever and this is my memorial unto all generations. All right. But my point here is to uh, respond on the B B. H.I. part that he called us all right and I got one last precept I want to bring out to uh, prove that the Most High is dealing with the the uh, he's dealing with the ones who you believe that are poor right because we're not bums to where we're out here begging for food and bread we're just not part of and we're not part of an organization which took a covenant with Esau all right building a church okay and, and back of themselves with this, this, this charter of a 501c3 charter so that we can get grants, okay? We can get money from the government and we can establish and open up administrations, offices. That's what they did. So because we're not doing that, then I guess that's maybe why we're bums. But anyway, um, I wanna get this scripture here and it's straight to the point. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get Romans 11 too. So this is James 2, uh, chapter 5, uh, James 2, chap, uh, James chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? So who did the Lord choose? Did he choose rich men? He chose wealthy men? Or is the Lord choosing the men that are considered poor? But what? Rich in faith. All right. It says... And heirs of the kingdom, which he have promised to them that love him. All right. And that's those that are standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, which is the elect. Verse six. But ye have despised the poor. It's not Nate despising the poor. Do not rich men oppress you. So, Nate, don't rich men oppress you. Don't Esau oppress you. I guess not because he's in one cahoots with their with their agenda. He's in one cahoots with their laws. He told his congregation that they should they they it's, it's, they should go get vax vaccinated, digital vaccine, man. You know, they should accept everything Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci talks about. So I guess they don't oppress him because why? He considered today as a what? A rich man. All right. It says, and draw you before the judgment seats. And that's what guys like him, Bishop Nate, don't understand, you know, which don't really register in their mind that eventually Esau's going to turn on you and he's going to send you to that judgment seat. And guess what? The Lord ain't going to be there to protect you because you are taken away from the Most High. Matter of fact, as Yahweh Shai said, if he don't gather, if he scattereth, it says, verse seven, do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called? You can say right now, Nate is taking the name of the Lord in vain. Okay? Shit, even blaspheming, man. He made mockery of the name of the Lord. You know, we didn't forget about those old videos he made. All right? Don't Esau blaspheme the name? You know? Anyway, verse 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons... Ye commit sin and are convinced of the law as transgressors, man. So if you got respect of persons because you're looking at organization, no organization. Organization, no organization. Uh, clean, poor. Clean, poor. Then guess what? Ye commit sin. All right. It says, verse 10, for whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. It's not IUIC, uh, the camp that pushes the law, 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 law. All right. They walk around here in regular shirts with fringes on, man. You know? And if you ain't got your fringes on, they get at you. If for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, 
he is guilty of all. All right, so let me get uh, my last scripture here. This is Romans 11. I believe that's down at the bottom. Yeah, this is straight to the point. This is Romans 11 and 33. It says, oh, oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So what are the riches? What is the true riches? It's the wisdom and knowledge. That's why the scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, man. All right. We're telling you here at Great Millstone, you don't take no digital vaccine. Don't take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. All right. Know the name of the Lord. Call upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Keep the law to the best of your ability. Rehearse the Sabbath. Rehearse the holy days. All right. So that what? You could be stable in that day, having that knowledge and wisdom. That's what we want. We want to be stable in the time of evil, man. We want Yahweh Shai to pray to the Most High that he keep us here. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Uh, Because I was reading it again. John 17. Bear with me. Let me. All right. I'm going I'm to read through and hopefully hit the point. I know it's in here. Uh, John 17 and 4. I have glorified. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. All right. And that's Yahweh Shai. Okay. He's speaking to the father and letting him know that, look, I have, I have finished the work that he gave me to do. Let me move from here. All right. It says, verse five. And now, O father, glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Right. I have, man I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Don they were, and thou gavest thou them me, and they have kept thy word. And that was, that's the elect, right? Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee, which is are of Yahweh, the Father. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. Here you go. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them, <coughs> but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. All right. And all mine are, are thine and thine are mine. And I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. Here's the point. And I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I, me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have, their, have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. This is the point, Salakia, this is the point. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou should, shouldest keep them from the evil, man. So what are you going to call on to uh, hide yourself from the day of evil? You know, what you going to uh, use the advice and take the word of uh, Bishop Nate and say, yo, play yogurt because we don't know the name today. That's foolishness, man. Think about that, man. Who you going to call on the Ghostbusters? This is what Yahweh Shah prayed to the father for, man. He said, I pray. Damn bugs. It says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. <coughs> All right. Psalms 91 hiding in the secret places of the most high. OK, so what are we going to call on? We're going to call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying, man. Um, I wanted to do a quick response as I saw this. I was watching the elder brother's lesson and it's fire, man. 
All right, so I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Shalom.